Gaja Ha, which is Changwon Jiawen, your friendly neighborhood, Waigua Ren. I want to talk to you about a very complex and difficult topic, and it's embarrassing. I'm from America. And in America right now, there's a problem anti Asian hatred, anti Asian crime. People are walking up and hurting Asians in America right now. And before I start my discussion about this, I want to first say that I'm sorry, I'm terribly ashamed. There's no excuse for it. And anti-Asian hate is a terrible, awful thing that must be condemned and stopped. And these people that are conduct doing these acts in America are awful people that need to be punished for the full extent of the law. And there's no excuse for this kind of terrible, awful behavior. Having said that, I want to talk a little bit about it. Recently, a person, I'm not going to mention their name, a very famous person in America said, America is not racist, but racism exists. And I want to respectfully disagree. That is not true. America is racist. And by America, I mean the leadership of America. That meaning a lot of the people that were in charge, the people are listening to, the, some of the officials and some of the media in America, I consider directly responsible in this pandemic of hatred that is occurring right now. I want to point out a couple of things. Something that was really pointed out recently was that most of the people committing these terrible atrocities, these hatred on largely Asian communities, largely women, and largely elderly people, have mental illnesses. Again, not an excuse, but we have to look at the fact that a lot of this anti-Asian hatred is being committed by people who are deranged. Does that mean that there is not racism outside of deranged people? No, there is a lot of racism in America. There's racism against Asians. There's racism against black people. There's racism against indigenous Native American people. There's a ton of racism in the United States of America and by America. And a lot of ideas about this has come out lately. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's history's fault. It's the fault of a long history of anti-Asian and anti-black periods in American history. Yes, and I agree. But that is not why over the last two years, there's been a spike, a massive spike in the amount of anti-Asian violence in the United States. It's not directly the cause of something that happened 150 years ago. We can't just keep blaming things on the period of time in which many Asians came over from Guangdong to build railroads. That's not entirely applicable. Why at this time, in 2020 and in 2021, has there been a massive spike in anti-Asian hatred? And then that there have been these uneducated people making anti-Asian racist statements and actions against elderly people and women and Asian. This is because of Trump and other poor leaders, people who said terrible things like Wuhan flu or the China flu. He's directing people to be anti-Asian. His presidency led to people becoming anti-Asian and anti-Chinese. Consequently, Koreans were hurt as well. Japanese people were hurt as well. Many Chinese people were hurt and all over the United States. This is not just one area. This is spread across the United States, these violent acts which need to be condemned, which are terrible. And the media plays a huge role in that. As Trump administration and other poor leaders, as this economic war that's been directed at China by some poor leaders in the United States, and media have surrounded that and said, oh yeah, let's help the United States. They've been saying anti-Chinese things. So a lot of the times CNN and these other mainstream media are like, oh, we also condemn anti-Asian violence. And the media says, oh, we want to stop anti-Asian violence. Well, that's to me insulting because these media are the reason there is anti-Asian violence. They kept repeating the same bad leadership comments and the same anti-Chinese rhetoric. And these media like CNN and Fox News, it is their fault. The TV is telling me we should be against China let's go hurt Chinese people. And then they do, and then CNN's like, wow, why did people hurt Chinese people? It's because of you, CNN. It's because of you, Fox News. You told them that it's okay to be anti-Asian. That then they turn around and say, well, we're against violence against Asians. For the last four years, CNN has been saying, and BBC and Fox News have been saying bad things about Asians. And then they're surprised, anti-Asian violence spikes. They did it. Anyways. Maybe the United States can get its act together and we can still create friendship 
between China and the United States, which is my genuine hope, but a large part of how that's going to happen, our media enterprises like BBC, CNN, and Fox News need to stop saying hateful things, and that will help. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.